Hello, and welcome back. This is going to be a lore reading. See what we've learned since this last time. Mostly just went into hmm, Dust Town, did some unofficial fighting, looking at the provings, and then did some exploring of the deep roads. Blood Ring. There are clear signs that this ring was made in the Timetrium Imperium. It's covered in dragon motifs, for one thing, and it gives anyone who wear, wears it a slightly uneasy feeling for another. But beyond it, very little is known about it. Ha Warriors of House Ivo took this ring in the Blessed Age from the hand of a madman, a surfacer mage, mage who had wandered into the underground and attacked Lyria miners near Orzmar. From there, the ring changed hands many times until its history had been lost and the dwarves no longer remembered how it had ever come to be come into their lands. Then how do we know how it came in here? Alright. The cast list. The cast system in Orzammar includes many groups of privilege, the nobility and the warriors above all others, but to a lesser degree the merchants and the smiths and the miners, tradition establishes a clear hierarchy, but as in any cultures with an upper class, there is also a clear underclass. These unfortunate so-called castless are believed to be descendants of criminals and other undesirables. They have been looked down upon since Orzammar's foundation. They have taken up residence in a place called Dust Town, a crumbling ruin on the fringe of Orzammar's common areas. Orzammar society considers these castless lower than even the servant class. Indeed, the castless are not allowed to become servants, as it is too honorable position. They are seen as little better than animals, their faces branded at birth to mark them as the bastard children of their kingdom. Their home district, little more than a slum, is haven, is haven for crime, organized and otherwise. Orzammar's guards seemingly cannot be bothered to patrol its streets, the best that the most castless dwarf can hope for is a life at the whim of a local crime lord ended abruptly by violence or an overabundance of toxic lichen ale. Even so, there is some hope for the castless, a dangling rope that offers a way up into greater or smart society, since a dwarf's caste is determined by the parent of the same sex. Makes the male child of a nobleman is part of that nobleman's house and castes, strangely, is acceptable for castless women to train in the arts of courtly romance to woo nobles and warriors. They are known as noble hunters. Any male born from such a union is considered a joyous event, considering the low rate of dwarven fertility. The mother and the entire family are then taken into the father's house although they retain their caste. The dwarves we know as the surface, you know, on the surface, are also considered castless once they leave Orzammar, although this is only relevant to those who return, if they are allowed to return at all. Dwarves who leave for the surface, the sun touched, as they're often called behind their backs, lose their connection to the stone and the favor of the ancestors, and thus are worthy of little more than pity, for upon dying they are said to be lost to the stone forever. Put that way, it seems a sad existence indeed. From the stone halls of the dwarves by Brother Janet TV, Chantry Scholar. Cut to Kalshrok. 1155 of the Timitri Imperium will be known as a year of painful decisions, but we cannot waver. The threat we face is the greatest we have known. If we are overrun, all trace of the ancestors' glory will be undone. Orzmar must stand, and must stand alone. Ormak, Kalshrok, Bundar. We have lost contact and must assume that they are lost to the horde. We must seal the weakest link in our defense, the deep roads that led to our fallen brethren. I have ordered our finest demolitionists to place the charges. I have asked each, each of you who think of those we have lost. They served as a warning that spurred us to action. I know the stone will embrace them. They are not forgotten. They are the foundation of our survival and they are not of hiking three stone. Two hundred years, Kalshalok lives, you stone-forsaken deep lords. There is no greater hatred than a brother at your throat. Graffiti, author unknown. Okay, kind of weird that they did the dating of this by the Tevinter Imperium 
and not, you know, what year of the reign of King Three Stone it was. That would be more like must relate it. City. have been exemplary, but these self-proclaimed cartels must defer to the assembly and restore order. Exclusion from caste society is no excuse. Perhaps suggest that it would be a simple matter to march on the quarter, or simpler still, to withdraw infrastructure support. A tunnel breach would be most unfortunate, but current policy direction prohibits any deals that would legitimize cartel operations. Downward pressure on certain elements of our society has proved useful in shoring up the economy with an excess of affordable labor. Hmm. That sounds familiar. It also encourages enlistment in the Legion of the Dead, the one accepted path to partial redemption and a vital force on our weakening front lines. Thank you very much. I'll get back to that. But this model suffers when criminals create their own hierarchies with alternative methods of social advancement. Uh, yeah, you cut off all way for people to get by, they're going to turn to crime, all legitimate ways. But anyway, every stone has a face that can't be carved, a side that must be earthward. We need their so-called dust town, but it would be advisable to include that in your negotiations. We have the utmost faith in you, Cap. The rest is procured by bloodstains. From a confidential assembly directive regarding proliferation of cartels. Sunder. The ritual was very specific, and such things probably, such things probably should be torso, head, and limbs spread amongst the deep roads to prevent the creature from returning. Looks like they died during the cutting, but we can fulfill the last part in their stead. I'm not familiar with the elven ritual. Why would I be? But it seems pretty straightforward. A shape or axis scribbled in the corner. Never even saw the thing. That a sword would take care of it. Sought it. This is a bag of legs. Well, whoever it is hasn't been laid to stand on. And that is the end of the this this lore reading. Thank you for watching. Do any relevant things with YouTube's buttons, and have a nice day.